All right, we will move on to agenda item 18. The final financial report for fiscal year ending June 30, 2021, presented by our finance director, Mr. Spencer Morrison. Good evening, Mr. Mayor, members of the council. Tonight, I'm presenting the year-end update for fiscal year 2021. These are audited numbers, and it will be uh, covering the general fund and utilities as the major funds. Starting with the general fund, for fiscal year 2021, we are looking at good news. Revenues landed much better again than expected and actually above the original budget. I will get into the details in the following slides. Um, the expenditure savings was throughout most categories with 1.2 million in savings from salaries and benefits, mostly due to unfilled or underfilled positions in planning, human resources, police, and public works. 1.1 million uh, in material supplies and service um, had, uh, Were, um, there were um, big, big savings, um, big decreases in activity due to fewer purchases during the ongoing pandemic. And we had a savings of 15,000 in capital acquisitions um, from mostly from streets, capital purchases that are ordered but delayed. Uh, savings occurred across most departments and most line items of the budget. I'll give you a breakdown of the savings by department in a later slide. So the... In the 2021 budget resolution uh, directs staff to maintain a 15% healthy cities reserve. So I'm showing from the, uh, the operating surplus how much of that uh, was, take, was taken out for the healthy cities reserve. A healthy cities reserve is a minimal amount that should be on hand during the best of times. As soon as bad fiscal times are on the horizon or suspected, a prudent city will retain greater uh, reserves. A healthy city reserve serves to maintain a stable tax and revenue structure and provide for the orderly provision of services to the citizens of United of Yuba City uh, during the times of fiscal adversity. So the uh, budget resolution does also direct staff to transfer the remainder for fiscal, fiscal stability. Uh, section four of the budget resolution directed the uh, finance to make certain transfers to ensure fiscal stability after first ensuring the healthy cities reserve met the 15% requirement. And so uh, uh, 5.4 million was, uh, was transferred. The um, items that were, that were transferred, where, where the money was transferred and, and to, to what, for what purpose are on this slide. And uh, n notably, um, this brings the unallocated general fund CIP up to 6.7 million and pension stabilization trust to about 5 million. So of the revenues, um, the sales tax is always the most notable and it's the, as the largest revenue source, it's the one we, we often talk about first. Uh, on this slide, I think um, you've seen, most of you have seen this slide before. I do want to point out that the, that the green slide or the green, green bar here is what I budgeted, uh, the, the budget that the, the council passed. And then the, the yellow was the projected amount that we, we th as we started to learn more throughout the, the year, we changed our projection. And then this last purple uh, bar is the actual, and this will be uh, a theme throughout. The, um, the 2021 budget in the green bar and my mid-year projection on the gold yellow bar had about a, it was about a 1.4 million difference. Um, part of the reason this is such a big uh, difference is that when we were creating the budget, we were still in the peak of the pandemic and uh, weren't sure what the volatility was gonna be like in the following fiscal year. So then that's, that's why you're gonna see some pretty out of alignment on, the, on the, the budget numbers, but we were trying to be very conservative, not knowing. Um, the projection uh, we had a, was the middle of the year um, as we were starting to um, get more experience with what was actually happening, uh, but you can see we were still off on sales tax by, uh, by quite a bit. Um, the actuals on on sales tax, uh, I, d I just wanted to compare the, the t April through June 2021 compared to the April through June 2020, um, which is the last quarter of the fiscal year. 
And um, you can see that uh, all of the areas uh, had significant uh, or had, had growth, um, where the last time you saw this slide, um, there were several sectors that were trending downward. But um, you can see that in 2021, the uh, sales tax just took off like a rocket. Property tax uh, was a little less volatile, fell a little more in line with what we were expecting. Um, this is a 10-year history, um, shows that, that there was a previous uh, downward trend and then a recovery. And you can see that the 2021 represents an all-time peak for property taxes. Um, the previous peak was 12.153, 12, 12 million basically in uh, 07, 08. So um, we've been seeing a pretty steady growth since. We'll continue to watch the second largest revenue source for the general fund to see if there are any delayed effects from the pandemic economy. Um, as we know that um, while houses are selling at, at higher than normal pricing, at, at much inflated prices, um, there just aren't that many houses selling still. So um, that should impact our numbers uh, a little bit too. These are the next um, several largest uh, uh, tax, uh, tax types you can see. Again, the green is what we is what we forecast and uh, budgeted, and the the yellow is a kind of a mid cycle projection, and then we've got the the actuals came in. So uh, in business licenses, um, we we started off pretty well, and uh, we we, end, we ended the year in uh, 1920 pretty well. So we thought there was a there was some hope in in business licenses, but um, we actually saw a decline at the end. Uh, franchise fees were slightly above. Uh, budget. Hotel Motel um, had to come back a little bit better than we had um, budgeted, just uh, because we think we budgeted pretty conservatively there. And um, building permits um, came in a little bit low. I think we got uh, confident because we had some really big end of the year 1920, fiscal year 1920 receipts. And so we were hoping that that would uh, carry on. Um, CSA G Fire, just a very slight decline. That's the uh, the part of the uh, county that the, the fire service um, takes care of and recreation programs came back um, a little bit better than we thought during our projection. Uh, so just as things started to open up, um, uh, we got a little bit of an advantage there. Overall, uh, general fund and uh, revenues are following an upward trend. Um, the sales tax is really driving that number uh, for the most part. On to expenditures. Um, this slide just shows um, the uh, actual versus versus budgeted. So if the if the budget is is uh, coming all the way out here to the end of this line, then this is a you know one hundred percent. Then the uh, percentage of the purple is is where we fell on expenditure. So you can see in all the in, in both the categories of salaries and benefits and material supplies and services, uh, we were under budget um, for, for one reason or another, and I think I mentioned that at the very beginning. General fund ex expenditures were slightly higher than 1920, but uh, uh, definitely not where we had uh, budgeted. And part of that is, is through um, Vacancies, part of that is going to be through um, ordering supplies and, and materials and equipment and not being able to take receipt on them just because of supply chain issues. Uh, we did have uh, department savings almost all the way down the board. You can see there's some pretty um, significant savings um, as we're um, going down the list. Um, there were the three areas where we were over, but those are, were pretty uh, unique situations that um, I feel like they're, that we, we can address or at least, uh, at least begin to talk about. Um, but for the most part, uh, departments did save. Um, you know, we, did, we did start the year and we did, did pass a budget with a 7.5% uh, uh, savings in some, in some uh, departments and five in others. And so uh, that's being reflected here as well. You can see the revenue compared to the expenditures. And uh, you, uh, you can see that after about um, 12, 13, so starting with, uh, oops, oh, I did it. Starting with uh, 
thirteen fourteen was our was our first uh, year where uh, revenues exceeded actual uh, expenditures, and that has continued on uh, even into the uh, pandemic realm. So that's it on general fund. Are there any questions before I move on to utilities? Doing okay? Okay. So this is a summary of the water funds budget versus actual operating revenues came in 2% more than budgeted water sales were $412,470 more than budgeted primarily due to a rate increase um, offset by conservation and COVID related billing delinquencies. Capital connection fees came in below budget estimates by almost $50,000 operating expenses ended the year at 760,800 or about 7.4% under budget. Savings occurred in many categories, including 507,000 in salaries and benefits and almost one and a half million in material supplies and services. That service ratio is something that we, uh, we speak about often. Um, the calculation to the, in the calculation, we take total revenues, including capital connection fee revenues subtract operating expenses to get net revenues this amount is then divided by the total debt service amount to get a ratio for the city's bond covenants the rules uh, by which we have to live on on uh, bond debt um, this ratio must be maintained at a level of at least 1.2 uh, you can also read that as 120 percent the ratio has been more stable recently than in the past and and final financials for 2021 produces a ratio of 2.24 uh, percent and then you can see here, um, you know, compared debt service ratio, kind of our, our trend where we've been the last few years. So wastewater, um, this is wastewater funds budget versus actual. The operating revenues ended the year about 1.1% lower than budgeted or 203400 The utility billing service charges were below budget estimates by... Um, just under $100,000. Uh, septage charges were less than budget estimates by 182,000. And SunSuite discharge revenue uh, exceeded the budget by 138,000, uh, almost 500. Overall, capital connection fee revenues were 192,000 higher than budgeted. Operating expenditures were at 85.7% of the amounts budgeted. The savings equated to 1.7 million less than budgeted. In reviewing the detailed major categories, the savings were uh, 643,000 in salary and benefits and um, 1.1 million in material supplies and services. And then this is the wastewater uh, debt coverage slide. And again, um, you can see the calculations, but down here you can see a little bit of a trend of where we've been and uh, where we are on debt coverage. And with that, I will entertain any questions. Thank you, sir. Is there any questions from the council this evening? Any questions? I have, yeah, I, I asked it this morning, and I apologize. You probably haven't got the information yet, but we'll see. Those, those third quarter um, tax revenue uh, estimates from HDL. Yeah. <clears throat> when? Oh, so we have preliminaries now. Okay. Um, they're pre on a prelim preliminary basis. They're showing. Um, so we only have the, so we, we look at the sales tax on a, on a calendar year quarter system mostly. So we're looking at the, um, the, um, uh, first two. So that we're looking at the, the first two, um, um, quarters of the year, we have actuals. And so when we look back at those two quarters, we're, we're actually ahead on a, um, on quarter three, we're still looking uh, to be ahead of the same quarters as, as last year. Uh, it's a little bit smaller amount. I think we're back down into the nine percent range, uh, but we're still showing ahead in that in that third quarter. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions from the council? Any questions from the public? Any questions from the public? How about online? No public comment. All right. I will bring it back to the council, making sure there's no final questions. Through the mayor. Yes, sir. 
I'd like to make a motion to note and file the final financial report for the fiscal year ending June 30th, 2021. We don't need a motion, Mr. Vice Mayor, but that's good. Do we? We just need to note it and file it. We can, <clears throat> it's technically under business. Just go ahead and form yep. accept it. I think we're good. Yep. So, all right, we accept the report. It will be filed. Appreciate it, though, keeping us on our toes.